Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rulings regarding prayer. The invalidators of prayer, part 1. There are 12 things that invalidate the prayer, in which case, it must be repeated within its prescribed time. These 12 things are as follows. 1. Takatov or placing one's hands on top of one another or on the chest with the intention of respect. However, if one does so due to forgetfulness, helplessness or itchiness, the prayer is valid. 2. Breaking up the form of prayer. Things which disrupt the form of prayer, such as clapping one's hands or jumping, whether intentionally or inadvertently, invalidates the prayer. However, pointing with one's hand does not break up the form of prayer. 3. Speaking. Saying even one word intentionally or even one letter that conveys a meaning invalidates the prayer, but speaking inadvertently or due to forgetfulness does not invalidate the prayer. If one intends to make someone else aware of something in the middle of the prayer, they must not talk. Yet, they can only recite a dhikr aloud with the intention of the dhikr of Allah. For instance, they can recite Allahu Akbar by raising their voice to make someone aware of something. For there is no problem with reciting the dhikr of Allah in any part of the prayer. There is no problem if one coughs or sneezes in prayers, but based on precaution, one must not intentionally groan or sigh using interjections such as ouch or ah, as their prayer will be invalidated. We will explain the rest of the invalidators of prayer in the next episode. Institute for Compiling and Publishing the Works of Ayatollah Makarem Shirazi.